Hey guys, it's uh, Bob here again. I hope y'all are doing all right. Um, I'd like to let y'all know about a uh, dream I had last night. It was pretty interesting. Is it tied into a, you know, somewhere I went today? Um. So so yesterday, I you know I I knew I was gonna need to go to Walgreens today. Um, to get some stuff. And um, so last night I ended up having a. Uh, having a dream where I basically I was in Walgreens so in the dream I was um in the dream I was in Walgreens and um and um I was in Walgreens and um the uh hold on a second guys I gotta here but I was in Walgreens and um I um so since I was in the whatever the uh basically checking out in the cashier she she was you know getting my stuff checked out and um and um and it also ties into also I had to go to Walmart last night so when I was at Walmart I had um to, to do something I was in the customer service area in the, uh, there was a, uh, a guy, he wanted stamps and he wanted the Christmas type. So he wanted the Christmas type stamps and I, I, I think they were out or something, but, um, that was the guy that was in front of me. And, um, so what happened was, um, so what happened was, um, so, okay, that's what happened at um, Walmart last night. And so I knew I was going to need to go to Walgreens uh, today, which I did. And um, so the dream I had last night, I was at Walgreens in the checkout um, line, and the lady was checking me out. And she, um, I asked for stamps. I asked for the Christmas-type stamps, specifically. Or, I, yeah, I think, did I? Or I, I know I asked for stamps, and she she handed me several of the book booklets, and like I think she handed me like three booklets, and two of them looked you know pretty generic, like just your regular old stamps, and the um, then one of them looked different. It had a couple. It actually had out of like the twenty or thirty so stamps, out of that that one booklet that looked different. Like two of the stamps were um, like the Christmas time. And so I chose that. So I, I chose that that booklet, the one with the two stamps that were different, the, the two stamps that were actually like the Christmas type. Um, so um, I chose that one. And, um, and I can't remember if I was buying anything else. I, I can't much remember. But now what I, and um, so after that, then I'm, getting ready to leave, and then I noticed a, a thing on the desk, and it was, um, and I was like, oh, I thought it was sometimes supposed to take with me, and then, then I realized, I'm like, oh, no, it's, it's my prescription, or it's the prescription, now, I'm not on a prescription, um, right now, I'm not even on a prescription, um, but I was like, oh, oh, there's the, that's the prescription, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, leave that with you, and so I just left it on the counter, and, um, because they need the medicine, it needed to be filled. So I had to leave it with her, I guess. And, um, so then I leave the store, I get in my car and I, um, I'm getting ready to leave and, you know, I, I back out. And so before I even drive forward, I noticed that, um, there's like a big, like tree stump or big portion of like almost like a tree stump or part of a tree and this is like not really even where trees are I don't even think there's any trees at this this location it's all pretty much concrete and um so there's this um chunks of like wood like a, it looks like as if a storm had blown through but it was only in one spot um it wasn't all over the whole parking lot outside the store it was just in one spot so I had to go around that and then I then after that I just got on the street and did a u-turn um 
I think that was pretty much where the dream ended, honestly. Yeah, that was pretty much where the dream ended. Um, so I found that very interesting. Because it tied into what the, the guy last night, he, um, the Christmas stamps he wanted, but they were out. It had that portion. Um, and I think it's pretty significant, guys. Because honestly, the, um, the, um, I feel the prescription is something like the, kind of like our, you know, we're, we're going to be going into rapture. And so the prescription, I believe that's almost like, okay, we're already set to go, and now it's just a matter of time. So I left the prescription with her because it needed to be filled. And at this point, we're pretty much, we're, we're getting ready to go into rapture. So that's what I felt the prescription meant. Um, now the stamps, I think that's pretty significant also. Because I still think there's a good chance it, it may, the rapture may take place this year. And so the stamps, I felt those, um, that fact that two of them were the Christmas type makes me think that like, okay, like almost like one or two days out of the month, because there's like 20 or so stamps in the book around basically like the number of days in the month. And so I was feeling like, man, this, it may mean, yes, something's going to happen. It may, something may happen this month. Who knows? I'm not claiming anything will, but I still feel there's a, there's a possibility the rapture will happen this year. And since we're in the last month, this is the interesting thing. It was just like, yeah, I believe like basically two of the stamps were the Christmas type and the rest were just a regular type. Um, and somehow I just feel that's like almost like calendar days in a sense. I don't know. I mean, give me y'all's input, but I'm not setting a date, so. Um, but yeah, I felt that was pretty significant. And they own the tree stump. So when I left... I feel that means that we're going to see a certain amount of destruction. So the prescription's there. We're set to go into rapture. The prescription hasn't filled yet, which means we, we haven't left yet. It's not ready yet completely, but it's about to be. And I felt when, when I left, I run in to see that tree stump and I have to go around it. I, I feel that indicates a certain amount of destruction we're going to see. So I believe before we leave, we are going to see a certain amount of destruction. I, I, that's what I feel. Something's going to happen. Um, something major is going to happen. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Possibly the sixth seal of revelation, the great earthquake. Um, that's a possibility. Um, something big is going to happen. Um, so y'all need to just be prepared. And so I, yeah, I felt that was, the dream was really interesting because of that. Um, how it tie, had all those things and stuff that actually occurred the night before. And the fact that I actually went to Walgreens this morning. And I also got to let y'all know about some, some couple of interesting things that happened when I actually went to Walgreens or, uh, this morning. So when, when I was actually checking out, um, checking out and it was just me and the, the cashier, the lady and, um, she, um, she was scanning my items and all of a sudden we started hearing this high pitch like noise and she's like surprised I was too because this is like high pitch some sort something was making a noise and it was very very hot very high pitch it didn't sound normal and she's like what is that and you know we were both looking around and I was like oh I think it might be coming from up there and it just it was very high pitched um kind of unusual um and so I, um, and that went on for, I'd say, like, 20 to 30 seconds, maybe. And it was, I could get him pretty irritated because it's very, very high-pitched. Not super loud, but it definitely was starting to bug my ears. And, um, so, um, and then, yeah, after, like, I'd say about 30 seconds, it just stopped. It, pretty, it just stopped. And, um. stop and um and then when when you know I, I finished I got my receipt and when I uh I left I went through the uh, the you know the, the gates 
the, they got the gates to, uh, you know, catch shoplifters. And th that thing beeped right when I walked through it. It started beeping off. I'm like, that, that's unusual because typically I don't know. I've never had that happen at this Walgreens. I've never, I don't even know, think I've ever, I don't even know if I've ever heard it, heard it happen at this Walgreens. And I went there so many times. I know in the past, at different stores it has happened before. Not, not that common. Usually I don't have that issue. Um, and so, yeah, I turned around, you know, looked at her like, you know, what's going on? And she was just like, she just waved me to go on. Um, and I didn't hear it, you know, while I was shopping in there. I didn't hear the, the, uh, the, the gate alarm going off any. So I, I it's very strange. So I, I don't know, maybe the Lord just let me know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's close. Who knows? Um, but I, I felt that was very interesting to have that dream and to actually have those two separate, those two things actually occur when I went there. Um, two, two different strange things occur. Um, I find that very interesting. But yeah, I, I felt I need to let y'all know about that dream. Um, pretty, um, I felt it was pretty significant. Um, and um, y'all just just keep y'all's eyes on uh, Jesus. I mean, keep keeping your Bibles. We are going to be going any day now. Um, I really don't think we have much longer. Um, these people, I mean, people are getting very unstable, um, there's not much love anymore, it's getting very, um, tough in the world, um, it's getting very tough, and, um, I just, uh, I, um, I just don't think we have much longer, so y'all gotta get prepared. Um, and stay fully repentant, um, constantly repent, I've been doing that a lot lately, um, you know, always repent while you still have a chance, you don't know when your last day is going to be, um, and just keep your eyes on Jesus, I don't know what much else to say, um, it's just very important, keep your eyes on Jesus, get it off of this world, this world's just full of distractions, constantly have to battle distractions, um, it's just crazy, um, but, um, that's about it, guys, uh, hope to see y'all soon, um, good night.